Let's come to the topic one that is tra traditional kind of a performance appraisal system. The performance appraisal system started with you know the ranking and comparisons and then you know the rating of uh, each employee so that's the way it has happened. So now let's try to look at what is the traditional kind of you know performance appraisal. So if you look at the methods of performance appraisal broadly performance appraisal can be divided into traditional method as well as you know modern method. In the traditional method you know there was an essay appraisal method has been adopted so under the traditional method you have nearly about eight different kind of you know techniques have been uh, predominantly been used one is an essay appraisal method where uh, the uh, you know the employee boss has been asked to given kind of a complete description about that particular employee in a essay form and the second kind of you know method is straight ranking method the name itself implies where the, every employee will be rated against certain kind of a parameter and each of them will be you know given certain kind of a ranking and based on the ranking whichever employees are higher will be given higher kind of a pay and then better kind of an you know let's say like uh, benefits will be provided and the people who are actually scored very low they'll be given an you know uh, lesser kind of an you know uh, decision making and uh, the third third kind of method is paid comparison you know method paid comparison method is nothing but you know we try to look at about uh, the comparisons between different employee and the fourth kind of method is a critical incident method in the critical kind of a period how an employee you know handles the situation so that's what exactly this is all about and fifth is all about a field review in the in his own job how his skill is, how he could able to you know generate that particular kind of you know outcome, and that's what exactly field review you know field uh, review is all about. And the next come your checklist method, where uh, we try to you know look at it each parameter wise whether the particular employee satisfied all the parameter or not. That's the way actually you know you have the checklist method. And the next one is your graphical, uh, you know, uh, rating method, the graphic rating method, and where a graphic rating scales, where you know, employee performance on various parameter will be put in the graphical representation, and through that, you know, it will be done. And uh, the last one is about, uh, you know, forced kind of, you know, distribution, and uh, through that particular thing, you know, we try to put them into certain kind of a situation, and then try to look at it. Uh, how the employee is doing very well and the next kind of you know method is your modern method under modern method there are five major kind of modern uh, performance appraisal methods have been adopted one is mbo that is management by objective it is a more subjective kind of a methodology where uh, certain objective will be set and uh, whether all the you know employees have been met that particular objective or not that's the way it will be looking at and the very popular kind of method is your 360 degree appraisal method where uh, appraisal is not only done by you know only the boss also from the subordinate also from the peer groups and if let's say like you know uh, uh, particular employees interacting with the external agencies even external agency have been asked to give a rating about this particular employee these are the ways actually from different kind of you know view we take it that is the 360 degree appraisal and the next one is actually you know your uh, you know total assessment centers uh, where there will be a separate assessment centers and then try to assess the employees performance based on that and the next one is evaluation by uh, you know completely anchored kind of a rating scale and where there will be certain kind of you know rating will be provided and completely rating index will be generated and the other one is your human resource accounting and uh, how you could able to you know take up any kind of you know challenging positions and then responsibilities and accounting part of it now let's try to look at uh, the first part of it that is uh, under under the traditional method so in this particular topic we are going to cover on the essay uh, traditional methods so in a traditional method the first kind of a method is your essay appraisal method it's a traditional form of a appraisal also known as free form method that means the, the it, it, it actually involves a description of the performance of an employee by a superior that means a superior will be asked to give a complete rating in a descriptive form uh, you know that will be written on any kind of a parameter so it will be completely free form there is no particular parameter has been uh, you know attached to it it's like a description is the evaluation of a performance of any individual based on the fact and uh, you know examples and evidences to support that particular information and major drawback of that particular method is actually you know there is an inseparability of the you know bias of the evaluator evaluator if it doesn't have a good opinion about that particular employee then uh, the description method or probably this kind of an essay appraisal method may not sound good. 
So that's a way actually, you know, there is no particular parameter as such, but uh, the superior has been asked to give a rating on whatever kind of a parameter, you know, the superior actually thinks about or his boss thinks about. So that's a way essay appraisal method happens. Typically in a traditional kind of, you know, work setup, uh, you know, these kind of an appraisal method have been commonly been applicable. The next comes your uh, straight ranking method, the name itself implies. Uh, straight ranking is nothing but you know you try to rank the employee based on certain kind of you know oldest and simplest kind of a technique so in this you know uh, appraiser ranks the employee from the best to the poorest on the basis of overall performance there could be a various kind of a parameter and uh, it is quite useful useful for the comparative kind of you know evaluation as to who has done best job and who has actually performed very well these are the ways and it's same like you are you know the old uh, academic systems and all you have the ranking the same kind of you know ranking will be applicable here also based on various kind of a performance uh, criteria now let's try to look at paired comparisons uh, paired comparison is nothing but you know it's a kind of a better technique of comparison than the straight ranking method where uh, each employee has been compared with all others in the group uh, one at a time that means you know one employee will take it with entire all of the departments all the employees will be compared with that particular one employee and after all the comparison on the basis of overall comparison the employee have been given a final ranking so this is the way actually you know paired comparison works this is quite better method than the ranking method because ranking method uh, irrespective of uh, their positions you know the ranking can go very well for certain kind of positions and for certain kind of positions the ranking may not go well because of the various kind of you know uh, what you call it is the uh, you know discrepancies or probably various other limitations are involved in each positions whereas the paired comparisons will give you kind of a correct idea as to you compare with one employee with the your own team or their, their particular employee team so try to you know look at it and similar way for all the employees one employee will be compared with all the people's employees you know uh, comparison so that's why actually you know paid comparisons where uh, everybody have been put under the same kind of conditions under which we try to you know probably evaluate how they are doing better job so now we will come to the you know, fourth kind of a method uh, that is a critical incident method in this method the performance appraisal and evaluator rates the employee on the basis of critical events how employee behaved during that particular incident say it could be you know both negative as well as uh, positive point we will be looking at it actually you know the business will not go under the same kind of situation every time every time you know it will go through different kind of you know ups and downs during an ups and downs how is the employee behavior how is this actually reaction to that particular incident both positive point as well as negative point will be taken the drawback of this particular method is supervisor has to note down the critical incident and they should have recorded properly if it is not recorded properly that employee behavior keeping a track will be very very difficult now we'll come to the next uh, topic uh, that is field review when we talk about field review it's nothing but in this method senior member of the human resource department or a training officers discuss the interview of the uh, interviews the supervisor to evaluate the rate uh, their respective you know subordinates and uh, it's something like you know go to the field and then try to review about uh, you know method as to you know what is the kind of a, a way actually an entire the team is going on how the employees have been motivated by them uh, you know superiors or a boss and uh, these are the ways actually they collect the data practically going to the field area but one of the major drawback of this particular method is uh, very time consuming kind of method it's not possible all the time and uh, that's a way actually you know but this method helps you in you know understanding the superior's personal bias because uh, uh, practically they look at the actual performance of an employee when they visit uh, to the field the next one is actually you know checklist method the name itself implies the rater is given a checklist and uh, the description of the behavior of the employee or uh, you know on the job has been uh, tipped against this particular checklist and checklist contain list of statement and based on the statement you know the employee performance have been uh, compared and based on this you know rate has been you know evaluated and there will be certain kind of a scale or a rate will be provided to each of this particular you know parameter that's the way actually checklist method works so the next one is a graphical uh, graphic rating scale uh, the name itself implies implies quality and quantity of works assessed in a graphical scale that means uh, there will be an you know a graphical representation of indicating different degrees of a particular trait and uh, the factors taken into consideration include both personal characteristics as well as characteristics related to the job and performance of an employee for example let's uh, trait like uh, job knowledge 
So that is their personal characteristics may be judged on the range of average, above average, outstanding or unsatisfactory or excellent or whatever kind of you know methods. The next one is your forced distribution uh, to eliminate the you know element of bias from the rater's rating. The evaluator is asked to distribute the employees in some fixed category of rating like normal distribution curve in the sense like uh, I hope all of you might be you know quite familiar with normal distribution curve where uh, there will be a midpoint and there will be an you know maximum minimum kind of a point and maximum kind of a point uh, they will be asked you know rate with where exactly the uh, you know the employee falls on the whether he exceeds the expectations or he is below the expectations that's the way actually you know using a normal curve we try to you know probably put it under uh, this way the rater chooses the appropriate fit for the categories on their own discussions uh, own discretions and this is another kind of you know popular kind of method uh, you know we can able to you know uh, we can do it but it's a very vague kind of a method uh, very specifically we may not be able to point out we can only point out that whether the employee is within that expectations or exceeds expectation or below the expectation only three level we can able to you know find out so these are the ways actually you know traditional kind of a methods of performance appraisal methods have been followed